I always love movies that just naturally make me smile. And, mm -hmm. and this was one of those movies that even as an adult, even without my kids around me, I sat there and watched it and just smiled and Aww. just felt good about it. Yeah. How does it feel to like take on those projects as opposed to like some heavier stuff? Do you, are you like relieved when it's a like project like that? This was fun. I, I could, yeah. Maybe I could speak for all of us. We had a really great time. Yeah. We're big kids, you know, and uh, to, to be able to play and we work together a lot, but to be able to reimagine a classic, a classic song like um, he's a tramp and then also do some original stuff in the movie um, was just a very special experience. My mom is actually on the he's version, a he's a tramp that I did. <laughs> wow. She was at the studio and Roman just put her on, on it. So <laughs> it's like family, it's like we grew up watching the film. My mom was excited, she grew up watching the film. Mm -hmm. So this is just like, just all around something very special for us. As far as just as an actor and an artist, like be it these, these new streaming services and studios, when you have a Disney Plus or, or what have you, is, is it feeling like it's allowing for more creativity or more a different stretch of uh, project than regular studios? I would hope, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, some stories sometimes are better told in smaller screens and some on bigger screens and just find out as you go. And um, it's just, Great. I mean, we are. I, when I grew up, I never saw Lady and the Tramp in theaters because it was out many decades before I was born. <laughs> but, <laughs> but conceptually, I mean, it's the same experience, I guess, for kids now. They'll be able to watch it at home mm -hmm. or on the streaming device. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. When, when, when you was a, a young artist, a young musician, and you were listening to music and Disney films, was that, were you, was your ear connected to the, the music in those films? Oh, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. No yeah. question, no question. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. we know the Disney music yeah, very, very, very well. well. Yeah. And if you listen to all the work we've done, like in the past, you can hear, you know, just when you talk about like world building, when you talk about string arrangements, mm -hmm. when you talk about just, uh, what, what it means to narrate the times mm -hmm. in, in the way that Disney has, I think there's an interconnectedness there yeah, absolutely. with the stuff we've done. There's also been a resurgence of uh, women empowerment, not only in Hollywood, but in society. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you uh, attribute this, this uh, momentum to um, at this stage in life? Of women's empowerment? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always something that's, that's been deserved and supposed to be, but what do you, yeah. it seems like there's momentum getting mm -hmm. behind women in power positions. Yeah. There's a number of uh, mm -hmm. presidential candidates that's women this mm -hmm. year and everything else. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you think this stems from Me Too or just natural progression in society? Like, what, what do you think is the causation of that? Um, I think that, you know, women have all, always uh, wanted the rest of the world to catch up uh, when it comes to us feeling empowered and like really truly feeling that and seeing it reflected in our workplace, in our workspace. Um, I think it's great that women are sticking together. We are realizing that we are absolutely stronger together and it's great to see, you know, conversations, the conversation um, that, that men are having. I think more men should be having the conversations around what it means to be an ally, what it means to support women because women's rights and issues are human rights. And as humanity, we, we, we literally won't survive if we don't take care of each other. And I'm just thankful that I get an opportunity to work with um, two men who do support me and have supported me for years and listen to me. I think that's important. We can do much more listening and I think we see a ref we, we're also seeing examples of bad listening. You know, I think the internet brings it all to the surface. Yeah. And when you see the leader of the free world and when you see abusers of power trying to oppress women, um, everybody is, is, it's a mirror. Yeah. It's just reflecting. And we're like, okay, this stinks. This is ugly. Yeah. What are we gonna do? But we have not arrived. This week marks the 35th anniversary of Like a Virgin. You're a style icon, you guys are musicians. Will you? Feel like Madonna. Like a virgin. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, what What do you feel like? Uh, you know, Madonna is brought to the lexicon of style and, and music in that in that way. Oh, we love Madonna. 
Madonna is, uh, you know, she's an icon. Congratulations. When you get into a project and you're able to put, you know, you're able to act and uh, contribute music, is that something that kind of forces your hand on a project where you you'd rather do a project where you could both, both contribute your theatrical skills and your artistry with, with your Wonderland? Well, this was sweet because they reached out to, to all of us, yeah. like you guys as producers and me, you know, as acting, and they also were the voices of the cats. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you guys can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it was, I mean, we were, we were very glad to be approached uh, to do the work and um, just excited to contribute something to uh, like a film that could be so special. Yeah. How did it feel? Was, was this your first time voicing uh, voicing characters? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That was a kind of we didn't expect it. It just, yeah. Yeah, just kind of happened. We <laughs> sent over a demo and we were just having fun singing the song and the studio was like, yeah, who is that? And we were like, well, that's us. And they were like, okay, well, we think that's who it needs to be. Can you guys actually just <laughs> yeah. beat the cats? And yeah. we were like, we think about it. And then we were like, all right, yeah, cool. So yeah. tell me about that moment when you seen the Disney magic happen on top of your voice and was able to see the characters and everything put together with the... It's amazing, man. Yeah. See those opening credits and to know mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, we were a part of, of making that happen. It's uh, yeah. it's really something special. And, and, and to be, you know, a songwriting team yes. of brothers, mm -hmm. black men, you know, to really follow yeah. in the tradition of the Shermans who, you know, wrote so many amazing pieces mm -hmm. for Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's nice. Yeah. And we in the film, so we got one up. Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, great job. I hope to see you guys on many more.